Hey bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland with some angry birds. Ha <laughs> ha! But anywho, hey everybody, it's me, the Orwolf, and welcome back to more Angry Bird Seasons. In our last episode, we did days 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 here in Winter Wonderham. And in this episode, we'll be doing days 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So let's get started now, shall we? As you can see, I had a previous take of this, and uh, I hate saying previous take. You know me by now, I hate saying, oh, I had a previous take of this, and just turn this down a little bit because the volume's kind of loud. <laughs> like previous take. Like, if you remember, like, I said back in Plants vs. Zombies, which I said, uh, I had previous takes. And why do I have three cars? Old open wounds have been closed for a while. I do not know. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Today is December 23rd. December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve. The day before the big fat man with white belly. <laughs> and the elves probably get paid the same rate as the Chinese kids in the factories. <laughs> In like one bowl of day rice today. <laughs> yeah, I wonder is like how much an elf gets paid to make toys. Wink, wink. <laughs> and that's just saying, just to keep the peace. Keep the peace of commercialism. Gotta play along with it. Gotta play along with commercialism. <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm actually excited for Christmas Day, exactly. Um, besides Christmas Day, um, what to look forward to on Christmas Day for me is, um, it's like the Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers always play on Christmas Day. It's one of my favorite basketball teams. They always play on Christmas Day. They're almost like the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys of Christmas, in which the Cowboys and the... Lions, they always play on Thanksgiving Day, which Lakers, they always play basketball on Christmas Day. There hasn't been a time recent, as of recently that they've never played on Christmas Day. So yeah, the voice I was singing in at the uh, start of the episode, that is my singing voice. One of my many singing voices says, to be exact. Yeah, the singing voice says. I sing in the tone which I know what I'm going to be singing about. Like if you sing in like um country music, I was like, Well I'm singing like this because it's country music. Then I sing like something else. If it's something else, like if I sing another type of music, I fit modulate my voice to the type of music I'm gonna be singing. Therefore of. Which the, the present killed him was like wondering, it's like, oh, is he going to be dead or not? Is he gonna die or not? Or do you have to do this level again? Or do you have to get Cute little fail screen that pig, like in the candy cane. It's like, I'm sorry, that's too cute. But not as cute, like I've been saying. <laughs> Speaking of that, look, there's Santa Claus. There's good old Santa Claus. At least he's not going to be like that other Santa Claus we seen the other day with the sleigh, with the bomb, and the box of tea, and tea, and all that stuff. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, um, Christmas films, to be exact, um, Tomorrow is going to be the day in which they're going to be showing Christmas Story hour after hour for 24 hours straight. Yes. 24 hours straight. Christmas Story. Ralphie. You want to shoot your eye out, kid? <laughs> I don't know if they're going to probably think about showing it to be a good idea because um, what happened last week in Connecticut, I don't think it'll be a, probably a good idea from showing a film about, oh, this kid wants a gun. It's like, <laughs> that's a good message to send to kid people after what happened in Connecticut. <laughs> showing a film about this little boy who wants a rifle for Christmas. <laughs> Besides, it's like any Christmas films I'll probably watch tomorrow or Christmas Day. I'll probably be Elf again. I've probably seen it this year. Once and before at school, it's like before Christmas break. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, a good message to send to everybody. It's like, okay, after the quake of this, I'm going to show a film about a little boy who wants a gun for cri on on Christmas for 24 hours after the wake of what happened at an elementary school. That is, if they do that, that would be crazy. <laughs> Speaking of a Christmas, of Ralph and the Christmas story, um, 
actually make a, they made a sequel this year. Yes. And unlike Mega Man X, this sequel was not needed because I didn't like the preview of it. I thought it was going to be stupid. It was good a while ago, so it stands alone and all that. So it's actually like, speaking of sequels, that that comes to be on sequel <laughs> Eagle Raptors sequelitis series next. <laughs> speaking of sequels, actually, to say probably the best sequel I've probably played recently or in a while, or, or out of all the sequels I've played, uh, Pokemon Black Two and White Two was actually a really good sequel. Um, so was Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, Fanboys Wanna Hate. <laughs> so yeah. I have to say, I wouldn't mind like having an Angry Birds 2. Like just say, okay, we're going. That's enough for just one Angry Birds, and like we're going to start a new fresh plot. And that's what they need to do. I'm not just have this going to be like this running into the ground and just keep on rehashing, rehash, 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 and the hashery, and the hashery. I want to hear that's a bell. A bell. Cause every time the bell rings, things will get its wings. That'll be another one of the films we'll be showing tomorrow. It's a Wonderful Life. Which I don't get the point about Christmas in it, cause it's about this guy's like, okay, this guy is working. He's like, he feels so depressed and all that. He's like, oh, I'm gonna commit suicide on Christmas Eve, and nobody's gonna mention. And this guardian and guardian angel comes. It's like, don't, son. You have so much to do. Unless like, there's another Santa Claus. More fan claws. You see the escape claws? Why are we referencing Christmas films left and right here? Because it's the time of the season to be referencing Christmas films. You see, reference uh, another film, non Christmas film, before Christmas, that would be stupid. Like, say, if I mentioned the night. Um, I was going to say Nightmare Before Christmas, but hey, that could be an either or case, because. The Nightmare Before Christmas, it can be either a Christmas or a Halloween film. Either way you say it, or it could be a Christmas Halloween film of Chariot Proportions. <laughs> which that's Tim Burton film. Which, I've seen the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Looks like a good film, though. It kind of freaked me out at first. But after a while, it looks cool. It's kind of cool looking, actually. Like, okay, here's this guy going to be going. going to be finishing this up, almost. They're done exactly. And there goes Santa Claus. His presents are blown up. If you said that was one of Santa Claus's presents, I'm sorry, but we blew it up. But we will refund you with a check, because the check is in the mail. Ha <laughs> ha. But then that's what we're gonna call it an episode, guys. So next time in Angry Birds seasons for this Christmas season and Winter Wonder Ham, we'll be doing days 16, 17, 18, 19. And 20 on uh, Christmas Eve. So I will see y'all back tomorrow on Christmas Eve for that. So, bye-bye!